Good evening, Mr. Main, Board of Governors, parents, teachers, staff and students. It is a great honour and pleasure to be standing here before you to share some memories and reflections on my time at the wonderful school that is John Collette and to also, on behalf of the graduating Year 6, thank the wonderful teachers, staff, students and parents of the school for all their efforts in making our time at John Collette so special. I would like to start by sharing that this pleasure has cost me many sleepless nights as I've struggled to try and condense my memories of five years of John Collette's school life into tonight's speech. I came to John Collette in year two as a result of a chance meeting with the John Collette parent from whom we learnt of a local school that taught Sanskrit prayers, meditation and good eating habits by providing a sit-down hot vegetarian lunch each day. All this was in a curriculum that included traditional subjects as well as unique ones such as Shakespeare, drama and philosophy. It sounded like an ideal school to my parents and I'm very glad that they made the effort to move me here. Mrs Donald was my teacher in year two with Mrs McKinley and Mr Kinnamont regularly helping in class. I still remember my first day at school with Mrs Donald teaching me how to shake her hand and the phrase we had to say with it. Good morning, Mrs Donald. <laughs> and shortly after, seeing all the children suddenly run off to one of the windows in the class, screaming, They're taking away our classroom! They're taking away our classroom! I too rushed to the window and saw a giant crane lifting up a mountable room. That certainly made it a memorable day. Some of my other fond memories of Year 2 are having long art lessons, singing and dance lessons, taking part in the most fun sports carnival with orange races and egg and spoon races, starting fencing lessons, chess lessons and learning French knitting, and taking part in my first Shakespeare play ever. It was A Merchant of Venice, and I remember feeling a little disappointed that I was the bad guy, Shylock. But I learnt after a few weeks of play rehearsal that I especially enjoyed playing that character. I still remember my lines from that play. Three thousand ducats, well. And the thrill of performing at Glen Street Theatre. Until this day, I still think that being the bad guy in plays is the most fun. Each and every year that followed has been full of fun and happy memories with more teachers, Mrs Layton assisting in year three and four, and Mr McDermott becoming our class teacher in year five onwards. During all these years, there have been a range of lessons that I've learnt through many subjects and aspects unique to John Clett School, some of which are Sanskrit, an ancient language which traces back in excess of 5,000 years, and in which some of the most significant teachings of the world are recorded, is taught at the school from lower first onwards. It is also taught through the learning and practice of the pause. We start and end each lesson with the pause, which is the name our school has given to the short Sanskrit prayer, Om Paramatmanenma Atta or Iti, that marks the start and finish of each subject. You may think that one ancient language is enough for any primary school, but we also study Latin, a supposedly dead language which is brought to life by our Latin teacher, Mr. Main. Believe it or not, it is actually quite uplifting to d discuss a fictional falling man with Mr. Main, as that man plummets through accusative and other grammatical terms, taking us ever deeper into learning. In one lesson, the falling man survived the six-story fall, only to be squashed by a falling grandma. These are interesting concepts to express in Latin. You may think it's strange that Mr. Main uses a fall to death to bring Latin to life, but believe me, it works. <laughs> art is a key part of the school curriculum, led by two gifted artists and teachers, Mrs. Gadsby and Mrs. Orcorn. We learn not only about a variety of art techniques, but also creative activities and art history. Singing a subject that the whole school takes part in every week. 
There is not one, two or three choirs in our school, but five. We are taught a whole range of songs, some of which, thanks to Mrs. Miles, you have heard tonight. Shakespeare. I have enjoyed Shakespeare since I've come to John Clutch. It is a core part in our school curriculum and well and truly brings our school to life. With the whole range of comedies and dramas played each year, Shakespeare helps improve public speaking, reducing stage fright, and at the same time is extremely fun to take part in. In recent months, I've been attending interviews at many high schools in the attempt to find a secondary school that could, in any way, match my experience of John Collett. In these interviews, I've been asked, what is it that I like so much about my school? In answer, I've referred to words such as the ambience and values, but usually I end up saying that it is mostly the people and wonderful community of students, teachers and parents that make up John Clerk School. I would now like to take the time, on behalf of the 2013 Year 6, to name and thank some of the amazing teachers that have guided us through our years of primary school. Mrs Cornell, Mrs Tefe, Mrs McKinley, Mr Kinnamont, Mrs Layton, Miss Irvine, Mrs Main, Miss Miles, Mrs Dunstan, Mrs Charles, Mrs Orcorn, Mrs Gadsby, Mrs McKendrick, Mr Roslin, Mrs Keating, Miss Emmanuel, and especially big thank you from Year Six to Mrs Donald and Mr McDermott, our two. Our two main, dedicated and caring class teachers. Mrs Donald not only taught us reading, writing and mathematics, but the very useful skills of baking, knitting, sewing and putting on buttons. Thank you very much, Mrs Donald. Mr McDermott introduced us to economics and business studies through our monopoly class system, as well as broadened our learning of ocean creatures through stories of his spearfishing trips and near-death experiences. <laughs> thank you, Mr McDermott. I would also like to thank Mr Main, our wonderfully funny and talented headmaster and teacher of Latin, debating and scripture. It is always both interesting and easy to have Mr Main stray off track and educate us on so many topics totally outside our syllabus but well within our range of interests. These are only a few of the teachers who have helped us in the long years at school. And then there is always the hard-working office staff and p and who work tirelessly for the students and the school behind the scenes. I would also like to thank all the students in John Collette for helping me enjoy my time here at this wonderful school. And I'd like to wish them a happy time in the remaining years of their primary school life. Lastly, to my classmates... I'd like to say that it seems rather unreal that tonight marks the end of our time together at John Clerk. And I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of them for helping make my time at the school so full of happy memories and learning opportunities. I wish you all a happy transition into high school. Thank you.